Well, hello, YouTube friends. Now, this is Radmel from My Virtual Midlife Crisis with another update. I'd just like to find out how many of the rest of you that, that wasted their time sending in one of these uh, vi uh, video, recording a video question for the Republican, uh, con or, uh, Republican debate on here thought that they really got hosed. You know, I, I couldn't believe the moronic BS that passed for our questions. You know, rednecks singing, people holding up the Bible and asking if you believed every word. What kind of tube steak crap is that? You know, some of us actually care about the President of the United States. Some of us think that it's an important office. And morons shouldn't be holding it. And obviously, CNN, they kind of bullshitted us. You know, with the Democratic uh, debate, I don't remember them having someone screen out questioners. So I, I just like to ask CNN why they, why they didn't put that up front, that they weren't going to really allow anyone to ask any serious questions. I know CNN's a racist network, and they really don't like brown people. They, they really hate Mexicans and, and Latin, people from Latin America. So their agenda is, is against immigration. They want to demonize immigrants as much as they can. And the Republicans buy into that. They're, you know, Tom Tam Credo, he's the one who's telling us that, that a Mexican's going to sneak across the border and, and uh, the motel maid is going to blow you up in your sleep. So, you know, I understand that kind of crap from him. But, but you'd think that, that if you're at least putting on the pretense that you're an actual debate, you, you'd make an effort to at least give us a little disclosure, you know. Everyone today is talking about how Giuliani and Romney, Romney were sniping at each other. But the real story is the mainstream media and its sellouts. So, anyway, if, if anyone else on the network here seems to think that they got boned the same way, I don't know how much YouTube had to do with the question selection or if they were just... Uh, a medium for you know for people to record also I think CNN did us a great disservice by the only really good question that was asked from the gay and lesbian community was from a plant from the Hillary Clinton campaign you know now they're they're now they're backpedaling and trying to say that that he never did anything for the Clintons he just lent his name to something and I I, I find it hard to believe that a general Someone smart enough to achieve that rank in the military and serve 35 years without getting court-martialed would lend their name to something and not be involved. Most of us that have been in the military, career military people, we understand that when your name is on it, you're responsible for it. That's one of the things they drill into you. You know, when you sign your name to something in the military, if it goes awry, they hang your ass out to dry. So, I, I just... That, that whole thing doesn't really wash for me, but the, this whole, like I say, this whole debate really was a sham. And those of us in the web community, we need to make sure that, that that's broadcast out there. Uh, this has been a little rant from Radmel uh, from My Virtual Midlife Crisis, .freewebspace.com. Drop by and see me. I've got some other opinions you might find just as ridiculous or just as right on. It depends on your point of view. And Republicans, you can pretty much count on, on me not voting for you. But I was at least willing to give you the benefit of the doubt and listen to your, to your uh, stuff. It's just a shame that, that all they gave you was tap dancing monkey questions like, gee, do you believe everything in this book? This book? You know, that'll tell us, that, that does actually tell me everything I need to know. When, when you go up there and say that, yeah, you believe that this is the revealed word of God, then that tells me I won't be voting for you.